Come take a look at the newest unit for Age of Sigmar. This is the Lord Veritant, and he is coming in hot. Spiky bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. All right, Hobby Maniacs, Rob Bear here with this week's big new release. Now, before you get on the hate train about why Games Workshop only put out one thing this week and blah, 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 well, you know, let's take a look at it. Games Workshop is a big, 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 big company, bigger than most of us can comprehend, and they have budgets. And long story short, they have a production budget and the production budget says hey you can make this much stuff in a quarter and now we're ramping down into a new quarter of production which we will see ramp up with of course the burning of prospero box or prospero burns whichever so we know there's new stuff on the way lots and lots and lots of new stuff judging by the teasers and uh the verbal teasers they've been dropping out there but man i tell you uh this is all we got this week, <laughs> you know, and that's fine. There will be a new White Dwarf next week, new uh, Prospero Burns. It is about to be a very exciting time going into the holiday season. So I don't mind a little week off, a little refresher. And this guy is no cream puff either for games of Age of Sigmar. This is a new unit for um, Stormcast faction. He basically is an anti kind of wizard kind of model but his attacks are still pretty powerful to be quite honest like i'm not sure what his points cost is going to be you know um in the general handbook i guess they'll have it on the app you'll be able to download and see exactly how many points he costs uh you know at, at some point whenever that updates i actually haven't checked but as far as his rules go those are available now on games workshop site his war scroll and we'll we will definitely break that down here in a second so as far as this goes uh it's a two model kit you know, you get the little Griffhound and you get the new mans right there. He comes with a uh, super sword of smiting and an innate ability to kind of uh, thwart enemy wizards. Now, as far as the model itself goes, you can kind of see how it goes together here. Well, bam. Uh, that it, you know, it's, it's your typical spliced computer kind of generated thing. It's not going to lend itself well to uh, conversions, although you could swap out the heads and perhaps the arm with a different staff, as you can see right there, clearly. So you could change the head, you can maybe change the, the sword, you maybe change the staff a little bit. Um, as far as the Griffhound goes, pretty basic, you know, very similar to what we saw in the uh, uh, Warhammer Quest game, and I think there's another one out there too, so nothing too crazy. Now, something interesting about this, uh, this particular piece, or instruction manual here, is it says, uh, scan the QR code, for War Scroll. So if you scan this thing right here, it takes you to Games Workshop's uh, product listing, and the same same for this guy. It takes it to the product listing on the website. So I'm almost wondering if that's one of the things, and where you can download the War Scroll for free, of course, but I'm wondering if that's one of those things, you know, that like, hmm, if you have this in your hand and you're at a store, you're either at a G-Dub store or independent store, you scan it, it takes you to their listing on their store so you know a, you know how much the retail price is and you also find out more about the product if somebody isn't, you know, if like the game store random game clerk is, you know, the, the atypical one that we always imagine when we think about a game store, somebody playing World of Warcraft behind a counter and completely ignoring their duties. But there are some really good game stores out there. Um, but they're kind of few and far between too. So sometimes you don't get that personalized service and attention. Somebody walking up to you telling you what this what this model does and what this unit does and how important it is to you know, playing uh, Stormcast faction. I I'm sure if you were in a Games Workshop store, it would. But, you know, it's cool to see that functionality and being able to find out exactly about it and finding out more about the model itself because, again, you can't, you know, if this is in the clam pack like this, really all you can see is this right here to scan it. But once you get it open, you know, you can find out more. So always look for that right there and that should lead you to more information about the products here in the future it looks like games workshop might be putting a bigger emphasis on this who knows we don't know we just we just report it as we see it so as for the model itself goes two screws come in it right here um you get 40 mil bases of course that's what the normal stormcast size come on for the most part and then the two little clam pack screws 
which make up the whole model here, the Griff Hound itself, and uh, the Lord Veritant as well with his staff, uh, super staff of uh, come get some, and his uh, sword of smiting, as, as I like to call it. Now, as far as his rules go, let's break those down because, like I said, they are available as a free download. Um, I think I have them on my iBooks. Yep, here he is. So the Lord Veritan, don't know his, um, his actual points cost, but he has 5-inch move, 6 wounds, 3 up save, and 9 bravery. So pretty average as far as those guys go. His melee weapons is a Judgment Blade uh, of Smiting. I added that Smiting part. Range 1 inch, 4 attacks, 3's to hit, 3's to wound, neg 1 ren, 2 damage. Wow, he is a beat stick. I like this guy. Uh, his abilities are his Lantern of Abjuration allows a Lord of Veritant to unbind spells in the same manner as a wizard. So remember, if you're within 18, uh, you roll your 2d6 versus their 2d6. If you beat them, you have dispelled it. Sanction in your hero phase, the Lord of Veritant may pray for Sigmar to sanction his sorcerer's foes. If they do, pick an enemy wizard within 7 inches and roll a die. On the roll of four or more, the player is heard, and the wizard suffers D3 mortal wounds. Ooh, that's brutal. And then, bound in service, after setting up the Lord Veritant, you can immediately set up one Griffhound within three inches of the model. If you choose to do so, the Griffhound is bound to the Lord Veritant and makes four attacks with its beak and claws, rather than two if the target is the target unit is within three inches of the Lord. In addition, in your hero phase, you can... Add three to the roll for the Lord Veritant's Lantern of Abjuration if the Griffhound is within six inches of an enemy wizard. So if you get that uh, Griffhound within six inches of an enemy wizard, you're getting plus three to your spell roll. So it's 2d6 plus three, average of 10. Seems pretty good for dispelling uh, spells out there. So if you got, if you're going up against an army that is really whooping your butt with a lot of spells, which would be kind of weird because you can remember the in pitch battle you have the rules of once. You can't cast the same thing more than once. But there is a variety of spells out there, and some of them, some armies could be a little sorcerer heavy or spell heavy, I guess so to speak. So this is kind of cool to shut them down because. A lot of times getting that plus one to a save or plus one to a hit is pretty huge and can turn the tides of a game, especially when it sticks around if you get a double turn on them. So this guy could come in handy depending on his points cost, which I imagine I will have in the comments by about the time this video goes live. So that's it for this one. This is the one and only release besides two fantastic new hardcover novels by Black Library that I do not have and we don't normally cover that stuff per se on here. Uh, because, um, words. Uh, <laughs> here's some words. Hey, here's some more words. Ooh, words. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you would like to see Black Library books on here, hey, let us know for sure. Uh, we might take a look at doing it here in the near future. So that's it for this one, folks. Can't wait to see you again next week for some fantastic burning of Prospero, new White Dwarf, all sorts of new and exciting hobby hotness going into the holiday season. Errors, omissions, questions, comments, leave them below. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.